Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we? Um, yeah, that might look a little bit strange, right? Considering the time of the day. Well, if you didn't read the description of what's happening, I have decided to um, just have a little chat with some of my friends who join me regularly when I take a walk along the beach. I wanted to do a little look back on everything that we've uh We've done everything we've achieved this year. I thought the best way to do that would be to share this video of a sunrise that I captured last year. So it's just after 11 o'clock now. The sun is high in the sky, although there's a huge veil of fog all across uh, where we live at the moment. And I'm talking to you and I realized that my camera isn't on. What a nubbed. Hello. How are you? Um, hi, Jane. Thank you for commenting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this video on. It's a, it's a 30 minute video. We'll get to see the sunrise. Also, we'll get to see some really brilliant things happening as the sun does come up. So I'll say um, good morning if you're joining me. A lot of people will come back and check out this video afterwards as they do. Um, most weeks so I'll say to you hello um, whatever you're doing today do you start your drinking early do you uh, wait until later if you got to ensure you you get a disco napping in time what are your plans good morning John uh, uh, just saying hi to John in the pressure chat room uh, after listening to Adi Tamo and now he's here so John and Jane, uh, two people who join me regularly on my beach walks, as does Jody. Good morning, Jody. Nice to have you here. So now I'm sat at home sharing the beach with you. I've got a nice cup of decaf coffee because I'm just back from the gym. And uh, good morning down under, Michael Sparkle. Good morning. Good afternoon to you, my friend. Uh, you'll get to see in the new year way before we will. And it's been quite a, quite a few years since I was seen in the new year with you guys in Sydney, wasn't it? Hasn't it, should I say? Uh, Jody says she's going to be in bed before midnight. Let me see, actually. Do these... Um, what was it that I wanted to do? I wanted to get the Facebook overlay on. Does that work? No, that hasn't worked for some reason. Why not? comments so if I click that does that work no I wonder why I can't get my Facebook comments to show up live Facebook overlay view insta feed I don't know so let me go back to where I was saying good morning to everyone so the point of what I'm going to do this is uh, I had thought about doing um an end of year review 2021 love life and the lurgy talking about everything that's happened to myself i usually write an end of year review but i really um found it difficult to try and find the motivation to do that it's not a year that many of us are going to want to look back on in a hurry and yet at the same time i have said whilst i've been walking along the beach that you know you do need to 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 reflect on everything that's happened over the last 12 months and it enables you to see some of your um, achievements things that you were hoping to achieve that maybe you didn't get around to doing uh, and also uh, you, can, you can plan ahead and then in the future a few years down the line you can look back uh, at your year review and you say wow look how far I've come whether it's losing a loved one whether it's losing your job uh, and you don't know what the future holds for you. Writing a review of all of these bad things, uh, it does enable you to leave all of that baggage behind and, and move into the new year uh, with some uh, great positivity. So that's what I you know, like to do at the end of every year. So what I'm doing here now, I am going to scroll through um, and just share a few of the, the things. The way I do that, the way I'm able to look back on my year is to go <clears throat> onto my Instagram because I use my Instagram like a diary. Um, I tend not to use it a, a great deal to try and promote stuff, but 
one of the things that I've, I've noticed this year is by because I'm aware of not trying to use it as a promotion at all, I don't want to see to be plugging things. There were one or two things that I didn't actually post on my Instagram that I'd forgotten about. So I need to change that for next year. I need to put that right. So anyone that's just passing through again, I'm going to say I'm sh- this is um, a sunrise that I captured last year in the spring sometime and uh, you will get to see the sunrise you'll get to see some bloke come onto the screen in a minute who um was going uh, diving for some octopus and the likes and it, it's really cool to just have it on in the background uh good morning gary further down the coastline how are you brother tito Pulpo actually mentioning octopus and and the man jumps onto the screen so what i'm going to do what i am able to do i'm able i'm able to click this button and it brings up my instagram feed and i'm just going to talk about one or two bits and pieces while the the sun comes up on the video in the in the distance so if i scroll down my feed you can see my my mouse here uh i think my new year started around about here that would have been my first um that would have been my first session in the gym for the new year jane looking back at the memories all the comments were happy to get rid of 2020 you made you think you never know what's ahead indeed jane and you more than anyone as much as anybody understands how life can change overnight for you um and i have said before and i know you've heard me say it many times because you do pay attention to everything that i say and i do appreciate you being here for that when I, I put those words in the, the, the program for the Vocal Booth Weekender, you know, life uh, the following year will be completely different for so many different people, good and bad. Uh, and that's why I always try and live as positively as possible. So, yeah, this is my year. Some of it will it'll be totally random. Uh, that's a little, bro- a little bracelet there that I've got from the children, um, from... Is it Shirosky? Yeah, it's a Shirosky bracelet I've got. And every birthday and Christmas, they give me little charms. This is just something random. Uh, Amazon has, has loved me this year. Uh, buzzing, one of the, the quizzes that we started off the year doing. Had some great fun uh, with those quizzes. And I need to bring those back, actually, because uh, we did have a, a great deal of fun. They got pushed to the side for a lot of the online talks that I was doing. Uh, Greg Wilson, that's a post talking about Lenny Fontana and his True House stories. You know, I've been a big fan of that this year. Uh, I can't. I, I, what I realise is if I click through to this, I'm not able to come back. So I can't remember my words. But this is just, again, talking about someone, the difference between sympathy and empathy. You know, you, you can sympathise with somebody, but can you truly empathise with them? There's a big difference. And uh, how you deal with people who deal with you from those different <clears throat> viewpoints does make a big difference star Wars set i think i was playing chess with mikey more stuff about the gym this i am amazing badge that would have been just me reminding everybody to let themselves know just how incredible they are and then the start of the bad news uh flash passing away the uh end of january was uh, a huge blow for many of us uh, and then the same day or the following day Patrick Smoove in a in a road accident that we thought he wasn't going to pull out of uh, looking back now and for- fortunately he did um, but you know that was the that took over the the majority of the end of January into February as well we raised a great deal of money to help Patrick on his road to recovery hi Barry um Barry Law saying he can't wait to see the back of this year indeed indeed so many people feel the same way so here's our friend just about to uh get involved he's un- unraveling his float his buoyancy device that will alert people passing by on the boats not to uh hit him on a jet ski and the likes so right let me carry on down my my timeline and uh, because I'm fully aware people pop in, they pop out. So I am going to repeat what I'm, you know, what's going on. Just going through my Instagram feed, reminding myself and reminding others about some of the some of the things that we've done this year. Changes to the studio. This was um, the the 
version one of my streaming desk version two then i was able to eventually uh, buy a new computer that enabled me to do a whole lot of other things uh more tributes to flash um clubhouse wow i forgot all about clubhouse everyone was talking about that like it was the next big thing is it even still going i'm not sure uh straight talking with mark wilkinson mark and lenny fontana two big personalities in my year inspired me to push forward and and sit in front of this camera said it on several occasions i actually feel uncomfortable sitting in front of the camera but i forced myself to do it a lot more um so uh because i've got a message that i want to get across and people who enjoy it stay and others that don't they just they just scroll on past so i just wanted to say thank you to everyone that does stay with me good morning diana uh diana pops in just as i'm talking about mark wilkinson diana somebody that i met via mark so uh good luck for you and your book next year uh then of course flash we laid him to rest scrolling on down inspire and be inspired more things about the where we live this here just me sharing a recipe for a, a pre-workout that i make myself in the gym rather than buying these tubs for 30 euros i buy all the ingredients for about the same price but that lasts me easily two years i've got my little scales there i look like a drug dealer um some of the topics that i've been covering oh i've got the same top on there look in the gym my uh mask top my masked vocal booth weekend top that i made in 2020 so that's that's last year's pussy power another talk that's michelle my fantastic wife my fantastic broken wife doing the cooking in her rad socks Good morning, Katrina. Good morning, Lisa, Lolly. Uh, Another two beautiful ladies who support me regularly with all of my conversations and my radio show. So thank you for being here. Uh, In the the distance, you can see the sun rising at some point last year. It'll it'll be breaking over the horizon at some point. Uh, Yeah, Diana's laughing at the wife. You you really don't know, mate. She's uh, incredible. Uh, Talking about the wife, there's a photo of me, her and Drew in the gym. Families that train together, stay together. My lovely boy, Mikey. Uh, More gym posts, because that's all my life consists of. Waking up, going to the gym, coming home, sat in front of the desk, talking to you. That's my life and I am absolutely head over heels in love with it. Um, And that's coincidentally what the Mr. Smiley Face is probably saying. Lemon chilli fudge. Tan Rosie Foods, T A N R O S I E, Tan Rosie Foods. Look them up online. Go and buy some lemon chili fudge. It will blow your mind. That's all I can say. Okay, uh, just talking about my food and my diet. That's when I bought my computer. Thanks to all of my Access members who subscribe to me on a monthly basis. Hugely, hugely um, appreciative of their support. So thank you for that. Here's a picture of some herbs in the kitchen and me no doubt saying, I wonder how long these will last. They didn't last very long, to be fair. They didn't last very long at all. Good morning, Jane. How are you? Miss Harrington, again, another big supporter of the radio show and always enjoys my beach walks. Call of Duty, uh, something else I bought from Amazon. Have we all gone crazy on Amazon this year? Yeah, that's a a food thermometer that I bought. It's one of my favourite purchases. Another talk that I did, Defected. Another, God, I've worn this t-shirt a lot, haven't I? Well, I've posted about it a lot. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why I put that. This is an artwork that was um, gifted to me by the incredible Angel, uh, Nazia Angel. And uh, I think I was just, I finally got it back up on the wall after some time and I was talking about that. Sofa House Mafia, another conversation, another talks that we had quite a few of throughout the year. I'll just take a drink of coffee. Um, Lisa says, thank you for keeping us company this last year. Thank you very much. It is nice to be appreciated. Um, I had a great conversation with a 22-year-old earlier this week talking, and I've said it to you guys a, a lot, about you know the the daily battles that I have of having so many thoughts that I want to share with you and then thinking oh no I'm not gonna and then sometimes like now 
the the internal battle is won by my ego getting in front of this camera and just sharing thoughts with you, bringing the community together. And then most times, 90% of the times, I'm sat at the desk thinking, I really want to go online and I just don't. But uh, that's all good fun. Good morning, Holly. Um, uh, oh, it's Mandy. Yes, good morning. How are you, my love? Long time no see. Uh, good morning to you. Seasons greetings and have a great new year. So yeah, um, in reply to you saying thank you for keeping us company. Thank you guys for allowing me to keep you company. Thank you for coming back. Because if no one came back, I wouldn't do it. Um, just a picture of me and the wife that was in my memories from my friend Dave's wedding. Uh, Dave, unfortunately, another of my friends who lost his dad this year. Um, you know, heartbreaking, but just one of a many, many, many sad tales. Another box of crap that was in the in the cupboards in Spain. You have to you you have a twelve month guarantee on things, but only if you keep the boxes. So these were a load of boxes that I was uh, throwing away that my guarantee had worked out. More posts about the gym, picture of my lovely cat, uh, my vaccination, Xbox, gym, the terrace. I had my terrace renovated this year. Uh, took myself out of my comfort zone, couldn't really afford it, but forced myself to do it. And it looks absolutely beautiful now, and I'm really glad that I did. Just another picture of myself going to the gym, saying about how happy I was and grateful. This was when we went up to Villa Hayasa to check out Vocal Booth, more terrace photographs, how happy I was with it all. Uh, this is the England, was it the Euros this year? England getting to the finals and, and not winning. Um, cables, I'm a proud dad, just saying about what incredible children I've got. More gym photos. So again, just repeating, my life is that is consumed by going to the gym and feeling a million dollars three times a week, then walking along the beach. None of these on my Instagram show any of the daily walks that I do. Sarah Burgess, uh, incredibly amazing family friend who just celebrated her 50th we love her dearly finally after all the restrictions she was able to come and see us that's just a picture of me and she on the terrace another conversation with mark paul johnson passed away jim jim food jim uh, gadgets that i purchased um so what's this? No, 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 no. Oh, actually, you know what? I've, I've realised I know where I am. Just looking at here, let me read what Katrina says. I don't know where I'd be without the VB community. Da, 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 da. I've got to go onto this screen, sorry. It's lovely having this extended family and seeing the support everyone gives each other. Indeed, Katrina. Um, blows me away. It absolutely blows me away. The amount of messages that I get of people telling me what VB means to them and what pressure radio means to them as well. Um, you know, Facebook is all well and good, but having that real deep connection with people that we've got to know so well and then finally get to meet after speaking on long, online so long. It is really, really good. Good morning, Catherine. Um, Kat, someone else who knows all about lost this year, unfortunately. I hope uh, you're looking forward to seeing in the new year tonight. Easy Martin, thank you for the shouts. Long time, long time. Tap man, tap man. Uh, so where did I get to? Yeah, so scrolling down my feed, I did say earlier that because I've not been out a lot, I haven't done a lot of things. I, I haven't really posted a great deal to um, Instagram. And one thing that I noticed is the fact that uh, I didn't actually post one photograph from Vocal Booth. So round about here was when the Vocal Booth kicked off. And the only, re the only reason that I realised this is because uh, the day after Vocal Booth, two days after Vocal Booth finished, this picture here is me taking a photograph of the seats on the train i flew over for the first time in about 20 months to go and see my mum but i was really even though i wanted to see my mum i hadn't seen her i was um, making the journey to go over and see amanda um, um i know she wasn't well uh, amanda reed and i was kind of thinking this might be the last opportunity that i got to see her and uh, as it turned out it was um it was Really beautiful to get to see her, um, spend time with Steve and Amanda. Uh, Steve cooked a great dinner for us. And it was really 
Um, it was really, I don't know what the word I'm trying to, to say is, um, it was different when I, I said goodbye to Amanda. I don't recall ever holding someone and giving them a hug, saying goodbye, knowing that it was going to be the last time that I would ever get to do it. It was, it was um, surreal. It really was surreal. There were tears, of course. Um, and then just as I'm sharing these words, the sun's about to break over the horizon. Um, as you see, that was just me sat in Sully Hall, about to leave to go to the airport. Um, picture of the fishbowl that was um, announced it was selling. It was up for sale. Are you a true Andy Ward fan? That was where I, I had another push trying to get some people to subscribe to my um, monthly um, supporter program that I have. And I uh, had another little push and I got a few more people supporting me. And, and it's the support of those people regularly that helps me continue to do this. Um, it actually just gives me more motivation. It, it makes me feel appreciated i didn't actually want to say that because i don't need validating i don't need to feel appreciated I, i'd get enough um satisfaction doing what i do knowing that i reach out to people coming back to what i was just saying about you know the appreciation that everyone says about the community that we're building but at the same time it is nice to know that there are people with a vested interest in what i'm trying to do um and it, and it pushes me to to do other things and a lot of great things will come out of this and I'm going to be trying to get more people to subscribe to me um, in the new year once all the Christmas bills are out of the way. So thank you again um, to all of the Access crew. Um, flowers, uh, I think they're actually from Andy and Hillary, um, sent to us to say thank you for an incredible vocal booth weekend, which was totally unnecessary, but loved it. Here's the sun coming up now. So if you're just passing through, this is a video that I've been sharing. It's 25 minutes into it, um, a video from the sun rising some point last year picture of lolly on my wall that i look at every single day in the living room and michelle uh there's a picture of drew on one side and a picture of mikey on the other side just images that make me smile beam from my heart uh good morning siobhan uh good morning danny again uh big pressure radio family uh scrolling along bought myself two new pairs of glasses uh, just the kids we went out for a meal not long after vocal booth updated my computer posted a photograph of my mate giddy on his birthday then uh we lost astro from ub40 uh that was the same week that we lost somebody else and unfortunately i didn't paste i didn't post an image and i can't drag it from the back of my mind now who it was that we'd lost on that same day um more photos of the gym a great talk that i had with aaron and neil um so many great conversations i've had through the year all available on my youtube channel uh steve reed i think i was posting that just to say it's one of my favorite podcasts that i listen to in the gym actually i mentioned about access look is my little mug that all of my access crew have access crew here we go and then on the other side proud member of andy ward's access crew i gave those out to loads of people at vocal booth just a little gift to say thank you what else what are you proud of another motivational post on instagram just saying that i'm extremely proud every morning when i look at my marathon medals there's a photograph of a house that's been renovated on my daily walks there's some meatballs and then, of course, the um, the sad news of Amanda passing away. Um, I think it, she passed away on the 8th of... Um, let me get this right. The 8th of December. I think, she pa I think Amanda passed away the day before. No, no. Or did we bury her the day before our anniversary? Sorry, that sounds really slack. I, I can't imagine i can't remember that but it's a it's quite an important date anyway because there were so many different similarities so many ways that amanda steve michelle and i were connected that the 8th of september it, the 8th of december the day before my, myself and um, uh, michelle's anniversary is, a, is an important date as well because i'm talking now i can't i can't remember uh here's actually a picture of me walking along the beach i think i said one morning oh, i didn't 
really feel like going live. So I just shared a photograph or a, a recorded video because people love it so much. Uh, some sausages. Who doesn't love a photograph of a sausage? Why? Bad news. Uh, me walking along the beach. Uh, the day that uh, we laid Amanda to rest, I we bought uh, a plant and planted it in a mirror ball planter. Um, one or two of us have all got mirror balls in memory of Amanda. And so we planted that plant the same day that we laid it to rest. That's in the kitchen. Um, so actually that, that makes sense. Yeah. So I can't remember the day that Amanda actually passed away, but we passed, we planted. So I think we laid Amanda to rest on the 8th of December. And then on the 9th of December, which is here, it was our wedding anniversary. So that all makes sense now. Michelle's birthday, uh, me talking about, and also in my mouth, uh, foot cancer, another talk. So this was the point where I realized that I hadn't been posting about my talks to remind myself. So now every week I am going to post the topic of conversation. This here was something that I did the other day. I didn't talk about it on my, um, I didn't talk about it on my beach walk and I meant to, and I totally forgot. I was asked by a good friend of mine. Uh, sorry, Siobhan, I, I have seen your comments and I will reply to that in a sec. I was asked by a good friend of ours, um, Christina, who's a member of the local parents association at, at the school that her kids go to if I would like to be one of the three kings and go to the school and give out some presents to the children um, bless her because she said she didn't feel comfortable asking someone to black up because one of the kings is obviously um, of, of you know darker skin she asked me, I said, yeah, of course, no problem. So I went along. Three Kings is the, the big one here in Spain. Rather than Father Christmas, it's about the Three Kings. On the 6th of January, they come and give out the presents. So I went to the school and I thought, yeah, you know, I'll just do it. But I can't explain how incredible it was. I sat there and gave out gifts from the, I don't know how old they were, five or six-year-olds all the way up through to the 10-year-olds, um, 11-year-olds. Uh, I was almost in tears when I saw the little faces. The you know the six, the five, six year olds were like uh, out of their minds, uh, excited, just couldn't believe it, and uh, it was just so rewarding, absolutely so rewarding. So I said, please let me do it each and every year. Let me do it again every year. So that's that photograph there. I wish I could uh, enlarge it, but it's on my Instagram if you want to take a look at it. Uh, then I just put a picture. Of, oh, that's why. But now we've got to have passports, COVID passports to go for a cup of coffee. That's that's the law now in Spain. If you want to go and sit down in a, in a cafe and whatever, that's what you got to do. Generation Z, that's the house that I, post, I posted again that I'm watching being renovated to see how good or how average it is. Mikey and myself and Parker on the set. A. This was where, this was us on Christmas Day. That's me in the gym the day after Christmas Day. That's the back of the house. That's me having my Technics renovated. The weather yesterday, 22 degrees. Not yesterday, a couple of days ago, 22 degrees. It's insanely hot here at the moment. Well, it was anyway. It isn't today. It's really foggy out there. And then who doesn't love a picture of some candy floss? So that was, that was, that was my year. Um, you know, thank you for watching it. Um, and the sun has risen there there's like a minute left of this video but i'll carry on talking anyway um <clears throat> so diana thank you again for being here good hi i can't even talk i need more more decaf tracy dalton how are you my dear another difficult year for tracy as well um you know uh 18 months or so since saying goodbye to the love of her life but, uh, you know, it's, it's been a, a, a terrible year for so many people on so many different levels. It's also been a great year for so many people on so many different levels. You've got to try. It's easy to sit here and, you know, spout, spout spurt, whatever the word is. Why can't I talk? You know, dish out cliches. Um, but isn't that what life is? Just a big bag of cliches on a daily basis. That's the way I see it anyway. There are people who can tell you about life much more uh, profoundly than I can. Um, so I'm just going to say, because this video is about to end now, 
thank you to everybody for being here. Uh, thank you to several people who are going to come back and watch this video throughout the course of the day. Um, have uh, an incredibly wonderful New Year's Eve, whatever you're doing today. Eat, drink and be merry. Go out and have a, a, a wonderful evening. Myself and Michelle are going to go around to our friend's house for some good food, some good company. Have a little bit of a laugh, seeing the new year. I won't be drinking a great deal. And uh, I will be back bigger, badder and stronger next year. This video is going to loop back to the beginning now, so don't be, don't be, uh, uh, don't be scared when it just goes dark again. There you go. It hasn't got that dark, actually. So, yeah, that's me signing off. Happy New, Happy new Year to everybody. Thank you for uh, dedicating so much of your time to listening to all of the words that I have to share with you. It's extremely therapeutic for me, really therapeutic for me to be able to sit here and talk to people who care about things that I've got to say. And, of course, on the radio show every, every Sunday is where we get to have all the fun. Um, one love to everybody. Um, that's me signing off. I'll bid you farewell with all, all the love in the world. Siobhan, I'm going to send you a link where you can subscribe to my access. I'll explain what access is. Uh, I'm going to do a, a dedicated stream to this again. But if you're at all interested, all I ask from you is £10 a month. And for that £10 a month, most importantly, you'll get put into a draw. And then at the end of the month, somebody gets £180, £200 eventually uh, free, just, just gifted to you. So, so many, you know, all through this year, someone's taken that money away. You'll get big discounts on your Vocal Booth Weekend tickets and you'll also get a goodie bag at the Vocal Booth Weekend. So if you're at all interested about that, go to djandyward.com forward slash access. OK, I'll put a link at the end of this video for you to go through and check it out if you could subscribe if you enjoy what i do and you want to help and you can afford a tenner a month then do it because it, it you i promise you you'll definitely be rewarded tenfold on that uh okay so that's the information uh, i did say i was going i'm gonna go now thank you one and all lots of love see you later